It's all about strawberries today. Strawberry picking and strawberry jelly and whatever else we can think of. All about strawberries. Come on. Hey guys, we are headed to a strawberry farm. And it is Isaac, Caroline, Judah, and myself. Anyway, um, I'm in the back seat with Judah. And um, so it's in Carthage, North Carolina. So we got a little bit of a drive. Um, Judah hopefully is gonna take a nap. We're gonna do some probably by the already picked and then we're gonna do some, um, some picking yourself just so Judah can have the experience and we can get some pictures of him in the strawberry field. And he's probably going to eat more than he um, puts in the bucket. <laughs> so anyway, we will. I will bring y'all back as we get there and show you what's happening at the strawberry farm. Okay, guys, Isaac is picking and Judah's playing. But y'all, these strawberries are absolutely gorgeous. Can y'all see these beautiful strawberries in there? Look at this one and that one they're gorgeous we're picking here they are picking they have like this little um, tractor thing that they're sitting on and they're picking how neat is that there comes my little strawberry monster Yeah, boy, just my little strawberry monster. Caroline's getting us some homemade ice cream. Sit him up here with me, Izzy. Me and Judah Bug are just swinging in the porch swing, waiting on our ice cream. I want a porch swing. Hey, Judah Bug. Judah Bug. Say hey. Say hey. Hey, Daddy. Can you fill me a drink like this? There's our strawberry ice cream. I'll let y'all know how it is as soon as uh, Isaac will share and give me a bite. Look at him. Not wanting to share with his mama. <laughs> okay, guys, we are back with the strawberries, and I. We just finished up supper. I'm not. Even going to tell you that my house is clean because, or my kitchen's clean because it's not. It's not. And I don't know when it's going to get that way. Hmm, my hair got my mouth. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the strawberries and I am just kind of rinsing them off only because I am fixing to deal with them. Do not wash your strawberries if you're not going to eat them right away or if you're not going to do something with them right away because they mold so easily. But I want y'all to see these strawberries. I want you to look how dark, I don't know if you can see how dark red that is. And let me just bite into it. Then I'll have strawberry seeds in my teeth. But I want y'all to see the inside. These strawberries are amazing. I debated on like two or three different farms to go to, and I think I picked the best. They're just as red inside. They are so sweet. Oh my goodness. Y'all, yeah, they are so good. So. I'm working over my dishwasher, I mean dishwater, and I'm just rinsing them off in this water and I'm putting them in a colander down here in my sink. I'm not, they're not dirty, they're not buggy, they may have a little bit of sand or maybe a leaf or a loose leaf or something on them, so I'm just rinsing them off two or three at a time. And then we're going to cut them up, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Y'all, it was so much fun. Judah has such a good time. 
this strawberry is so red it's almost black like it's such that deep red now I did get um, I did pick a couple that were not quite as red but that was my fault because I picked them this was a you pick well they had both and I thought I would actually have to use both but in reality I only had to um, Look at this one. This is like two grown together. <laughs> um, I only had to do the ones we, we picked. And um, hopefully I'm going to have enough. I may go back, y'all. If this strawberry jelly turns out good. If it turns out good, I may have to go back. Alright, I don't want to wash all of these yet. Like I said, I don't want to, I don't want them to, you know, I need to, I need to pick some of these that aren't quite as red because this is going in my jelly and that's going to have sugar. But they're all pretty red. I mean, they're all pretty ready. All right, let's move over here. We'll see how much we have. We need five cups of pretty sliced up. You don't have to worry how you slice it because we're going to mash it. But hang on just a second. Let's move over here to the... All right, so I'm just going to take my knife and take the, the cap off. And I'm just going to, I don't know how really to cut these. I'm just going to cut them in little pieces because we're actually going to, look how dark red they are. Y'all, these are the best strawberries ever. Now here's one that's not so right. But they're still like beautifully red. I'm going to get a napkin to wipe little green caps off my fingers so I don't stick that down in the jelly. Now this is going to be more like jam, I guess, um, because I'm not going to strain out seeds and so forth. Um, if that's you, you probably can still do, I mean, I guess, still do the, the same way and just use a cheesecloth and strain it. I really need to measure these before I'm actually going to put I'm going to transfer these over real quick because I need to measure them before I put them in here to mash them. I'm looking for 5 cups of strawberries. So let's start with them in here. So I'm just going to keep cutting and slicing and Dyson <laughs> and then I may have to go over here and wash some more and as soon as I get this up to five cups I'll bring you right back I'll be right back I got a good start so we'll see you in just a second okay guys so I have right here maybe a tad bit over five cups of strawberries but five cups is what I was aiming for that's what I was aiming for. So I'm going to put back into the bowl I started with. I did this in this bowl just for measuring purposes. And y'all, I did not have to go get any more. I'm just going to pour a few out for right now. Um, I did not have to go and get any more strawberries out of the container because I had plenty. It looks like I'm actually going to have enough to possibly do um, two things of jelly. I had not planned on doing two things of jelly, but anyway. All right, so what I have here is my potato masher, and I'm just going to come in
and mash these up. And that's why I did just, oh, I charge y'all till you fill over. <laughs> Sorry, my lovely tripod just is not cooperating. But anyway, that's my idea, just a few at a time. So I would be sure to um, get them all mashed up pretty good. So yeah, I may actually have enough to do. I don't know, I really have no idea how many pints this is gonna yield. Actually not pints, I'm doing half pints. Um, the little jelly jars, so. I'm really not even sure how many of these it's going to yield. All right, I'm going to get a spatula. Or as some people say, spatula. <laughs> they put that R in there. All right. Now, this is the dilemma I'm actually thinking about right now. And this is actually a good dilemma. I mean, I guess. I guess no dilemma is ever a good dilemma, but all right, I'm going in with all of them, I guess. All right. Um, because these are so sweet, my recipe is five cups of strawberries, five cups of sugar. Five cups of strawberries, five cups of sugar, a quarter cup of um, lemon juice, and a five tablespoons of pectin. So my dilemma is, since these are so ripe and beautiful and sweet, should I cut back on my sugar? And I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm thinking maybe cutting back by half a cup. I know that doesn't sound like a lot. But all right, I'm gonna get all this good juice out of here, and I think I may just get up early in the morning and do another um, another thing of jelly. Um, we'll see. All right, I'm getting my sugar. I may need to wait and before I say I'm going to do that, see how much sugar I'm going to have. All right. My measuring cup's a little damp because I had it at the sink. All right. One cup. Two cup. Three cup. Four cup. And a half. I think that's what I'm going to do. Scale it down by half. And I have real lemons, but, you know, sometimes it's just easier. Where's my fourth of a cup measure? Wait. I 
I just had it. Well, I have a half a cup, so I'm just going to put half. Oh, I'm about out of lemon juice. Um, I'm just going to fill this up halfway and count it close to a fourth of a cup. Lemon juice. And my pectin. Well, let me show you what I got. I did get Sure, sure Gel. Although I know they make um, off brands and different things. You know why I got Sure Gel? Because that's what I remember my mama using. And my mama made really good jelly. All right, and so this recipe is so easy to remember because it's a five. It's five everything, except for the lemon juice. The lemon juice is the only thing out of the ordinary you have to remember. All right, now I'm gonna pour it. It comes in a little pouch like this, like a jello pouch. So I'm going to pour it in this little thing just to help my scooping. <laughs> to help me scoop better. And it was different kinds of sure gel, I mean pectin. You know, that was I think that was low, it's, it's specifically for low sugar jams and jellies. And so I got the original. So just make sure you read the box. Read the box. I got original because I don't use low sugar or anything. All right, so five, five, five. Five cups of strawberries, five cups of sugar, and five tablespoons of pectin. One, two, three, <laughs> four just so you know that pouch is five tablespoons I did not know that so we have all learned something or y'all may have already known that alright I'm going to turn it I'm going to get this I'm stirring it up I'm going to get it on the burner And we're going to let it boil. When I bring it to a boil, we're going to let it boil for approximately one minute. But i got to get it to a boil first. While I'm getting it to a boil, I'm also going to get my, the not the rings, but the lid parts in some water and heating up. And with fruit... When you're canning and preserving fruit and things like that, you don't pressure can. You use a water bath canner. So I have my water bath canner out. I've already got some water in. I probably, I may need to add some more. But, um, in fact, let me go ahead and add some. Better to add it now than disturb the canning process. You want the jars completely covered when you put them in. I believe that'll do it. Alright, so I've got it heating up. I'm going to start with five lids. Now, I have already washed my jars, and I've actually put them in the, um, I've already put them in the, um, in the dishwasher to sanitize. So, let's start with five. We may have to, I mean, I have no clue. Your guess is as good as mine. So there's two, three, four. I need one more. I'm going to go ahead and get my jars out of the 
dishwasher. And I give my jelly a stir. You want to get all that sugar off the side of the container because you want it all to dissolve. All right, let me throw this away, get it in the sink. Yeah, I'm way gonna have enough to do another thing of jelly. The only thing I'm running low on is my um, lemon juice, but I have some fresh lemons I can squeeze if need be. I'm just cleaning up while it's coming to a bowl. I'm getting my countertop ready for I guess we'll do everything right here so you guys can watch. Normally I do it over here at the sink. So let me unbaby proof the gonna get some towels out. Oh, I gotta find my funnel. Y'all, I want you to see this. <laughs> Look how beat up it is. This was my mama's cannon funnel. And I don't know, it may have come from somebody on past her. It may have been her mama's or her mother-in-law's or, or somebody's. And I don't know. All right, and then I need a place to, well, I'll fix that later. All right. Let's see here. I'm trying to get this set up so you guys can. Watch what I'm doing. Let me give it a stir here. I'm actually, now that we're warm, I'm actually going to take my masher. Give it just a little bit more mashing. of strawberry in it. You will be able to taste bits and pieces of strawberry. to a bowl and as soon as I bring it to a bowl I'm gonna put the timer on for one minute and then I'll bring you guys back okay guys so I don't know if you can see in there but there is a little bit of foam right here I'm gonna try my best to scoop a little bit of that out um, without getting too many of the strawberries but I probably won't get it all out so that's what I'm working on now Okay, guys, I'm trying to get this assembly line the best that you can see. <laughs> and I don't know how it's going to work. So, 
what I'm going to do here is I've got my jar and I'm going to pull this as close over here to the pot as I can get it because I don't want sticky everywhere. I've got me a ladle and I want to get juice and the berries so you know everything's pretty much the same. Okay, and what I do now is I go ahead and get my next jar so I have somewhere to go ahead and put the sticky thing. Uh, where did my rag go? Here it is. I get a clean dish rag that's damp and I wipe the outside rim. I have my lids that I've heated right here. I get a hot one out. Put it on, put a clean ring on. I get it finger tight, which means not like clamp down, but good and tight. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my water bath. And I'm not sure my... Now, when my boiling minute, you know, you're going to see some bubbles come up, but I don't start timing until it boils until, and when I stir it, it continues to boil. You know, sometimes you can stir the boil out of it. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard that terminology, but like when you, when you stir it, it quits boiling. Well, the way you want it is you want to get it to where... When you stir it, I'm going to have to get more jars and lids going. Finger tight. Okay guys, I ended up using seven half pints. So I got three and a half pints out of this. Let me bring you guys over here so you can see this. Whoops. <laughs> ah. Let's do it the easy way with my hand. So there you go. The water is just barely covering the top. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I still want it to boil, but I'm going to put the lid on it. Where's my lid? Here's my lid in my messy kitchen. All right. And we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. We're going to let them process for 10 minutes. Then what I'll do is after it processes for 10 minutes, I will cut the oven, cut the burner off, take the lid off, maybe wait a few minutes, then take the lid off, and then let it sit for just a few minutes, and then I'll get them out, and I'll set them on a towel here on the island, and wait to hear the little pops of the lid sealing. Y'all, that is my best sound in the world. When you're canning and preserving, and you start hearing those little ding, ding, and it's the lid ceiling. Oh. It's like you start counting them and each time you're going, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. So anyway, I'm going to clean up my dishes and I'll bring you back as soon as they're done and we get them out. And you can see my seven jars of jelly and I've got seven more, I'm sure, over here. 
So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll decide. I'm going to sit down after I clean up and decide what am I going to do with the rest of these strawberries. Y'all, there was a little bit left in the pot, so I thought I would um, taste it and see about the sugar. So, I would know more what to do tomorrow differently. I know this isn't really going to give me a true taste, but we'll, we'll see. Now, jelly's supposed to be sweet. I can dip back in because the pot's empty and I'm just scraping the bottom. I'm fixing to wash it and it's like one of those things where you lick the bowl. There's a little piece of the strawberry. Leave that one on my mouth. <laughs> Y'all, I think it's perfect. I hope these really set up. I haven't made a whole lot of jellies and jams in my day. So I'm wanting to branch out and do more of it. And, um... Y'all, it's so good. It's so good. And see, the, it's already jelly... It's already jelly fine. <laughs> it's already jailed. That's good. I think I'm going to get up in the morning and make homemade biscuits. I don't know if I have any bacon. I don't care if it's just jelly and a biscuit and a boiled egg that sounds really good oh my word y'all this is so good well I hope it sets up and we'll know in the morning because hopefully I can put a jar of this in the refrigerator and it'll be ready in the morning so anyway I'm gonna clean up and quit jabbering about how good my jelly is <laughs> I hope it turns out, y'all. So, um, I'll bring you back when I get it out of the water bath canner and I set it on the table and, and then I'll bring you back in the morning and make biscuits. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the container. I've taken the lid off and I've let it sit with no, um, lid for just a little bit. And I always take it and drain it just a little bit to get the water off. And I'm just going to set it right there. Now we'll just wait for the pops. Now it may take up to 30 minutes to an hour or more to start here in the, the jar of seal. I wish one would seal while y'all got while you were while I was videoing, but of course that'll never happen. Look how deep red that is. That's because those strawberries were so beautiful. I think I have decided that in the morning 
um, I'm just going to start another batch because I have everything I need to make it. There's no need letting anything go to waste. I have another sure gel. Um, did you hear? Did you hear that pop? That was it. That was the lid sealing. Maybe if I talk long enough, we'll hear another one. Um, so yeah, that just got me so excited. Um, I have everything. I've got the strawberries. Even though I was going to use some of those for um, yogurt parfait stuff, I think I'll still have some left to use. It's done. We've got tuna sealed. I didn't think you'd be able to hear it. Well, I don't know that you can hear it, but I did. I thought it would be a while before they started sealing. So, anyway, let me show you. Let me show you this beautifulness right here. And then, um, let me tell you, once everything is sealed tomorrow, once everything's sealed, cooled, everything, I'll come in with a Sharpie. I'll date it. Put what it is. I'll put strawberry jam or jelly or preserves or... I guess it's kind of between a jam and a preserve. Um, and I'll date it. And we'll find a place on my brown cabinet over there for it. And one will go in the refrigerator for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry. There it is. All seven. I don't know if you can see the red shine with the light in the background. Anyway, guys, um, I will bring you back in the morning. I'm going to sign off for tonight um, and bring you back in the morning when we make biscuits and have some on a biscuit. I cannot wait for Bryant. His favorite jelly in the whole wide world. This is funny. I don't like strawberry jelly. But y'all, that was so good. And I think it was extra good to me because I picked it. I washed them. I cleaned them. I cut them. I prepared them. I, and then I preserved them. And I canned them. The only thing I didn't do was grow them. And uh, I don't know if that made me appreciate it more where I just like strawberry jelly. So I'm so excited to taste this strawberry jelly. Anyway, it is Bryant's favorite jelly, strawberry. So I can't wait for him to taste it in the morning because he will be our true decider if it's good jelly or not because he he is a strawberry jelly connoisseur. And a lady, um, a friend of ours made him some last year and it was wonderful, he said. And um, so he'll be our true decider if this is good jelly or not. So... All right, I'll see you guys in the morning in the biscuit. Don't go nowhere because I'll be back in the morning in one, two, three. Okay, guys, here we go. Um, Bryant's going to check out our strawberry jelly. We have Canadian bacon and boiled eggs, and I did not make homemade biscuits. I had a couple in the freezer from, I don't know who it's from, but anyway, it's not my homemade we call these hypocrite biscuits. Yeah, those are hypocrite biscuits. They look like the real thing, but they're really not. <laughs> so he's going to taste our strawberry jelly and tell us. Um... Oh, I had a spoon. There it is. All right, here's the jelly that she made last night. And uh, now is the moment of testing. We, we noticed a small issue this morning is that uh, they have not set up super firm yet so it may take about 48 hours for them to set up firm right mom yep and even this one is not terribly firm but there's enough firmness to it that i can uh, put it on a biscuit so and this is my favorite i think she's already told you that but strawberry is my favorite so let's taste it out you ready see that look at that fruit in there looks really good That is spectacular. Better than Smuckers. <laughs> Better than Smuckers. All right, guys. Y'all heard it here. It's 
still a little runny. It's a little runny, but that's okay. Maybe, um, well, it says it can take up to 48 hours to set up. Um, and I may, I may increase my sugar. I don't think I need to increase my pectin, but maybe my sugar. So, all right, there's your strawberry jelly, guys. Have a good day.